tonight, Angela Rippon visits the banks of Scotland's Loch Awe. And Claudia Winkleman, on the third leg of her round-the-world trip, arrives in Japan. Tokyo is everything you expect it to be. Clean, modern and very ordered. Even youthful fashion has a fairly uniform look. As I wandered about Shinjuku, the modern heart of Tokyo, I felt totally lost for the first time on my round-the-world trip. Tokyo is a city that can easily overwhelm you. Shinjuku is said to be the busiest station in the whole world. 1.6 million people stream out of those doors every single day. However, paying my fare proved easier than expected. All fare information will be displayed in English. The underground system is relatively easy to find your way round. Station signs are also in English. The city is made up of districts, so a good way to orientate yourself is to take the overground Yamanote line, which circles the centre. Thank goodness it's not rush hour, I can breathe. It wasn't long before my nose for a bargain led me to Akihabara, more commonly known as Electric Town. It seemed to me that the stereotype of the Japanese working hard and then playing hard really does exist. So to prepare for a night out on the town, Tokyo style, I returned to my hotel, the new Atani, to freshen up. The room combines both the traditional with the beautiful Japanese blinds and the high tech. To help me negotiate Tokyo by night, I met up with Mary Devlin, the editor of an English language listings magazine, who took me on a tour of Roppongi. Now, I've got to ask you, what are the Japanese kids doing? Because they always get it first. What's the fad? That's right. Well, the fad at the moment is there's a dance machine. Yeah. And you learn to dance on there. And also, they're really into photo stickers. Photo stickers. I want to dance, though. OK. Can we do that? Let's go there. OK. Don't laugh, though. Don't laugh. Those stickers machines are called Purikura, and there are over 20,000 of them in Japan. What was I thinking? We headed for one of the many sushi bars. A good bet is they're relatively cheap. How's that? That's good. Crazy for trying! The Japanese gave karaoke to the world, and I gave it back to them. And I'm crazy for things. <laughs> if you go to other countries and you've got a sort of idea of what they're saying, even if you don't speak French or Italian or anything like that, you come here, you have no idea. You know when you go to a place and you can get your head round it, you can go, oh, that's that district, or oh, that's that area. Japan takes a while. Everything is very expensive in Japan. I mean, properly expensive. You always should look at the prices before you go in and eat, because I've made a few mistakes. <laughs> A two-hour drive outside Tokyo is what is popularly known as Fujisan, or Mount Fuji, one of the most recognised symbols of Japan. A great way to see the scenery is from Lake Ashi. Didn't quite expect the boats to look like this, though. 